to another scientific session spotlight. Dr. Kate Poole is interested in how cells can feel their surroundings and the role mechanobiology plays on those cells. Here to elaborate is Dr. Kate Poole. Welcome. Thank you. Could you start with giving us more about your research and explain how the cells can feel their surroundings? So what I'm really interested in is how each of our individual cells in their body can feel what's going on around them. And so um, this field really started looking at how our bodies sense touch. And we have these specialized nerves that can actually convert uh, mechanical input into an electrical signal using these force sensing molecules called force sensing or mechanosensitive ion channels. And what we realized a number of years ago was that these force sensing ion channels are not just in our sensory nerves, they're actually expressed in a lot of different cell types in our bodies. And the kind of things that we've been finding is that actually different force sensing ion channels might respond to different forces. So that means some will respond to when the cells are stretched or when there's a fluid flow or perhaps when they're compressed, where others are only there to sort of like sense forces that impact the cells directly from their surroundings. And those are the ones that we're really interested in. So how can cells sense what's going on in the matrix or at those cell-cell junctions where they're in contact with other cells? And also tell me more about your discovery of microgravity and cellular function. How does that work and help one another? If we think about when astronauts go and spend a long time on the International Space Station, we know that when they come back, actually they've experienced a lot of disruptions to their physiology. So their bones can waste away. They actually have some really surprising disruptions to things like red blood cells and their immune function. And we're thinking about this in terms of, okay, well, in that state of microgravity or weightlessness, you no longer have that um, 1G of Earth's gravity pulling on all of your cells. But all of our force sensing mechanisms have evolved over 4 billion years under that persistent pull of our gravitational vector. And so what we're thinking is actually, once you put cells into microgravity, it just disrupts how the forces move through the cells. And so it disrupts that mechanosense of function and changes the cellular physiology, which says to me that actually mechanobiology is a really, really important aspect of understanding how our bodies function. We just don't necessarily realize it until one of those major forces goes away. So all of that will eventually lead to treatments or even possible cures in the future. This research leads yeah. to that? It's sort of a, a long road to get there, but we're trying to understand there's so many different cancers, particularly solid tumors, that are associated with really strong changes in the stromal mechanics that surround those cancers. And if you think about breast cancer, like the first sign that you're developing a tumor is often that palpation, so you can feel the stiffness there. And that's not just a consequence of the disease progressing, it can also drive disease progression. And we think there's a role for these force sensing ion channels in that progression, because the force sensing ion channels are really changing how those cells are interacting with each other. And if you disrupt their function, the cells become more invasive. So it's then a challenge to find out how can we actually target that. And I think we've got a, lo a lot to learn about the force sensing channels first before we can start to design rational strategies there. But it's a new way of thinking about coming at tumors and looking at whether we can find new ways to treat solid tumors that might have that really mechanical component to them. Incredibly important research. You know, my last question would be, you know, how does BPS help you with furthering this research and your own personal goals? Well, I, um, I was listening to your interview with um, the, the program chairs earlier, and I, I really like the fact that they've, they've designed this program to sort of like really bring together those new technologies. And so coming to BPS is always mind-blowing to see all of the amazing research that other people are doing, to think about new techniques, new approaches to be able to answer questions and find new partners for, for this kind of research. And it's just exciting for the future. So Absolutely. thank you so much for all that you do and for joining us. It's been a pleasure.